Remember when I said this? So, I just did exactly that. I cancelled my game. Now, before you go to comments and say that I'm a hypocrite, just hear me out. My indie game, it sucked. In the last devlog I said I wanted to make a small game that would take a couple of months to develop and so I proceeded to make a copy of Flappy Bird. Coming up with original ideas was always my biggest weakness. So the plan was to first get the base of the game done by copying Flappy Bird and then add originality back to it. But no matter what I did, it still just felt like a copy of Flappy Bird and I mean that's exactly what it was. So I made the hard decision to scrap the project and start over. All of the rules I set for myself in the last devlog still apply. I want this to be a small game that I can release on mobile and now additionally on desktop. But this time I will not be copying any game from the beginning. And to make this a challenge I will attempt to make the base of the game in 7 days. Day 1 was pretty uneventful. My goal was to make an original game so I just sat in my room with my PC and phone turned off, writing everything that came into my mind onto a piece of paper. For the first few hours I struggled with coming up with anything, so I just decided to hit the gym. And after my workout, a miracle happened. The shower thoughts came in clutch and I finally got my idea. For now, all I'm going to tell you is that it's going to be a top-down, turn-based puzzle game. I'm going to tell you more about this story later in the video. On day 2, I started by setting up Unity, importing my behavior state machine from my previous game. At least there's one thing that survived from that project. Then. I worked on the grid system that the player is going to move on. I quickly created the grid manager script that stores all of the tile data that is going to be needed for the game. And I jumped into creating a custom editor for the level generator which I spent the rest of the day on. I wish I could go back and spend more time on thinking about the backend of the grid system because as it turned out on day 3. The custom editor I have made was a complete waste of time as I don't have to save the layout of my levels because Unity kinda already does that for me. So starting out the day on a pretty bad note, I just removed all of the unnecessary features and moved on with adding a gameplay. I started by adding a playable character. I'm going to skip most of the implementation process as I just added my behavior state machine and I have already talked about that in my previous devlog, so if you want to learn more about it, go watch that video after this one. After that, I added the ability for you as a player to select the playable character and choose one of the possible actions specified in the editor which the character is going to move to. I finished off the day with adding possible attacks and going to sleep pretty happy with the progress. Day 4 was a huge milestone, because today I implemented the main objective of the game, the deer that I drew in my last mini devlog. In the game, you are an archer who got sent on a hunt by a king to capture the best deer and bring it back. Oh, I also forgot to mention that you get to marry the hot princess jump king style if you succeed. That's why the name of the game is Deer Hunt. I didn't have much time on day 5 and 6, so I just drew a quick mock-up of how I want the game to look and feel, and I think that what I came up with is actually quite nice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Most of the day 7 was spent refining the art and importing it into the game. And there it is, the beginning of Deer Hunt. There is still a lot of stuff missing from my vision for the game, and the art is definitely going to have to improve a lot as we go on with developing the game. But I guess that is a topic for a future devlog. So if you want to see where we will go with Deer Hunt in the future, subscribe to the channel. To get regular updates on the game, go and join my Discord or support the development of Deer Hunt on Patreon, links in the description. And if you want to start making your own games, go and check out my 100% free beginner game development course, first link in the description.